this is just a quick troubleshooting video for the furnaces in any of the newer four-wheel campers. We use a forced air furnace made by Dometic. It used to be Atwood. Atwood got bought, it, bought out by the Dometic Corporation. It's 12,000 BTUs and forced air furnace means all of your combustion and all of your exhaust is in a sealed chamber inside there and that's all vented to the outside so it's safe to use in here it's not burning your oxygen and it's not off gassing any fumes all of the exhaust is outside there's a thermostat on the wall to turn this on and off but there's a few common problems that can arise like if your furnace doesn't start there's a few different things you need to check first thing would be make sure your propane tank has propane in it propane tanks are on the outside of your camper open up your propane box open up your propane tank and then most campers this is a shell model empty shell with no kitchen but most four-wheel campers will have a stove we always recommend you light the stove light one burner, light two burners, let them rent, run for 10 or 20 seconds, shut that off. That will purge the air out of the propane system and the furnace will typically light faster. Um, so propane in the tank, open the tank, run your stove for a minute, turn it off, and then hop in the camper and turn your thermostat as far over as it needs to go for the, the furnace to come on. The normal sequence is this furnace will start, the fan, you'll hear the fan come on, the fan will run for approximately 20 seconds. If everything is working properly, the inside of here is what they call a sail switch. That sail switch will connect and allow the furnace to ignite during that ignition process, you'll hear a short burst of clicking, a little tick, 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 inside of there, and that's the spark trying to light the propane. So if your fan is running fast enough, your sail switch will connect. That will create the go ahead for the spark. The propane will flow and it'll light. You'll hear it like kind of roar up, and then within 30 or 40 seconds, you'll feel heat coming out of there. If this doesn't light, there's a few symptoms. Either you have no propane flow, you have low battery, so the fan's not running fast enough, or the sail switch is not connecting. This particular camper we picked, uh, it just came in um, in the service department. We bought it used and tried to fire up the furnace, testing everything out, and it didn't fire. Fan came on, furnace did not start clicking. So the fan wasn't running fast enough to make the sail switch connect, start the ignition process. So we figured we would work on this one first. What I think it is on this particular one is grab a um, voltmeter. Some of the newest campers have a meter built in, but you'll plug that in here. What that's telling me is the before this came in, the customer didn't charge the battery. 12 volt battery, a full 12 volt battery should read approximately 12.8 volts, plus or minus a little bit. 11.96 is about 40% capacity on a battery, which is almost completely dead. So my guess is the battery needs a full recharge to bump that up to 11.6, 11 11.7, 11 I'm sorry, 12.6, 12.7, 12.8. Right now it's only 11.96, which is way too low. So the fan's probably not running fast enough. I'm gonna go ahead and try and fire it up again. The propane tanks are open. We know we have propane in there. In here we have the fan running and then I'll just let you listen and see if you can hear the clicking. Nope, so you probably could not hear that, but what what I heard in here is the propane valve opened. Just a small little clunking noise. 
but no spark, no ignition, so the fan's not running fast enough. So we're gonna go ahead and put a 12 volt battery charger on the outside of the camper and cut back to this in just a second and show you what it will do with a full charge. So we've jumped back in here. We put the battery on a charger. So you can see now we have a, we're on green. We got full 13.1819 amps coming in instead of 11.9, we're at 13.2. Full charge coming in, which will allow the fan in the furnace to run faster and fast enough, most likely to ignite the, the furnace. For demonstration purposes, I'm kind of hoping the furnace won't light so I can show you further how to check the sail switch. But if it lights, great. And we'll, we'll do a second video on the sail switch. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn the thermostat back on. Furnace fan will kick up. The fan's running a little bit faster. I can just hear it. So this makes kind of making for a long video, but I think it's helpful for people who have furnace problems. I could hear the propane valve open inside, which is just a kind of a very quiet clunking noise. And it did not fire up. Um, the sail switch is not clicking. So the fan is running fast enough. The sail switch is it's trying to open up the propane valve, but it's actually not igniting. So what I'm going to do is a couple different things real quick. I'm going to turn the furnace off, let that cycle down, and I'm going to pull the cover off inside here. So there's a cover, a vent tube, so your furnace is here, propane line, furnace, and 12 volt electrical. All of the brains and the sail switch are located on the, on the outside of the camper. But in here, you can feel the, the air coming out of here from the fan. What I'm gonna do, the forklift is outside, so hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. And I'll leave that vent cover off. I'm gonna let the furnace fan cycle through and shut down and then we'll come right back and I'll try and fire it up again with this front cover off. So furnace went through its cycle, shut down. I took the vent cover off. I'm going to go ahead and try the last thing that I can try inside. I'm going to try and turn the thermostat on. Fan comes on. We should hear like a very quiet clunk inside, which is the propane valve opening, and then a short burst of clicking if the sail switch connects, which it might or might not. So nothing happened. <laughs> For testing purposes, that's actually a good thing. So, fan is on, cold air is coming through, it's not igniting. I'm gonna check our propane tank one more time. It's trying to ignite, but there's no spark, which means the sail switch is probably dirty. So we're gonna stop here, go outside, and I'll show you how to clean the sail switch. To take the outside cover off, we use a drill, but you can use a, a hand screwdriver if you want. This camper is a few years old, but it's the same style as what we use nowadays. There's a few different pieces in here. Sometimes you can get to that screw, sometimes you can't. This is the exhaust tube, just pull straight out. And then you can get to that last screw in here. So there's four, four screws and four screws. 
this whole piece. Sometimes you can get this piece out, the exhaust tube itself. Make sure it's clear, like no wasps nests. Sometimes the mud daubers make nests in here. Make sure to just look through that tube and make sure it's clear. Pull your cover off here. And then you have the guts of the furnace system. You have your, your furnace itself, your circuit board, your sail switch in here. And then there's also a reset switch, which is located right back here. So the easy way to test the furnace is sometimes just reset that switch, turn it off, wait 30 seconds, turn it back on and then go try and fire the furnace up. Sometimes that's all it takes. So we'll go ahead and cut it here. I'll try and go back inside and light it real quick before I get into removing the sail switch. So now we're back in the camper. We just did the quick, easy thing and we hit the reset switch outside instead of taking the circuit board off or cleaning the sail switch. Figured I'd try the reset switch first turn the furnace on, see if this thing lights up. I try and start with the simple things first and work towards the harder things later. Check the propane, check the battery level, hit the reset switch, take the vent cover off, get good airflow, make sure there's good battery power, and then hopefully everything will fire up. If not, I'll take the sail switch out next. So the fan is running. I can hear the propane valve opening, but there's still no spark, no ignition, none of the small bursts of clicking noises. So what I'm going to do is go outside with a screwdriver and take the sail switch out and clean it real quick. That's probably the culprit. Instead of checking it, I'm just going to replace the sail switch. Old sail switch, new sail switch, cover on here that will slide off. The single wire came off of this top one. Double wire on the bottom. And then this might be the trickier part. This is getting this back in here gently without bending it. You might have to kind of twist it a few different angles. This is the first time I've replaced one on this older style sail switch. Not terribly difficult. It's not too bad really. This piece will go into here and then the two small screws will just go back up in there. I'm just tightening those guys up. The sail switch is in there nice and tight. Just sits right in its own little spot. Shorter screwdriver would probably be a little easier, but that thing's not going anywhere. You got your wiring in here. These are hooked up again. We've reset the switch, new sail switch. We're gonna hop inside the camper and see if we can get it to fire up. So we're back in the camper. We just went outside and replaced the sail switch. And I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up, see if that took care of it. We got battery power, we got propane in the tank. We hit the reset switch on the outside. We popped in a new sail switch. 
You can test a sail switch if you have a wire tester, but we didn't bother doing that. And I, it's, it's quite loud out in the shop right now, so we got saws and everything going. I could not tell if that lit, but I'll be able to tell you in about 20 or 30 seconds if heat comes out. I have a feeling it's fired right up. So fans going, propane's flowing, burners in there burning, and a couple seconds we'll start to feel this warm up. Yep, that was it. So easy to, to put your grill back on here, feed your little flexible ducting hose back on here pop this guy back in there with the two screws and you're ready to go. So if you're having problems with your furnace, check your battery level, make sure you got 12.6 to 12.8 volts. You have propane in your tank, light your stove, check your reset switch. If you need to start your truck to, to bump up your voltage, you can do it that way too, or you can plug into shore power and everything should get going for you. If you have any other questions, please give our service department a call and they can help you out.